Today we are flying from Tehran to uh, Bombay. Welcome back. So today I'm taking you on the last Boeing 747 SP commercial flight that happened more than eight years ago. Iran Air is the last Boeing 747 SP operator. Uh, what's the SP stand for? SP stands for Special Performance. So Iran Air had four 747 SP from the 1970s. They even flew nonstop from New York to Tehran. And they also even ordered the Concorde at one point. So Iran Air SP is not anything strange to many hardcore aviation enthusiasts and Afgeek. They all went to Iran with no other reason than just flying the 747 SP. And Iran Air surprised many of us. Uh, they were saying they're gonna retire in 2014. They organized a sightseeing farewell flight. But then they extended the lifespan on the SP for two more years until 2016. And then when I got a call from my friend in Iran, say, Sam, this is the real last time, the last flight. I went overnight from UAE to Iran and I transited and stayed overnight just to get on the last flight from Tehran to Mumbai. I never done this route before. I was wondering who flies between Iran and India. It turned out there were actually lots of Muslim pilgrims. They're from the Bora Muslims community from India. They, uh, they were all came to pilgrimage in Iran and they flew the SP. We had about 145 passengers on our flight, so it is pretty light. So the flight departure time was 7.35 a.m. As soon as I boarded the aircraft, I was off a great start. The hospitality just start from there because they knew I was an Afghan. I was wearing an Iran Air t-shirt and then they gave me a big tour and then straight away went upstairs to the upper deck, to the cockpit to say hi to the captain. The flight was operated by two captains and one flight engineer. It was Captain Mirabi, Captain Karimian, and also flight engineer Sajidi. Everything went very smoothly. We 145 passenger, we pushed back on time and we taxied to the runway and just listen to that beautiful engine spooling sound of the Pratt & Whitney engine. With a very light takeoff weight of 235 tons, we took off like a rocket ship. We climbed straight to flight level 390, 39,000 feet. And eventually, we cruised at 41,000 feet with almost Mach 86. Was very, very fast. I had a great chat with the captain. They even signed the log book for the memories. And they told me the fuel burn on the SP was about nine tons per hour. Uh, that's a lot more compared to the 787 or the A350 it runs about five to six tons per hour. Iran is under a lot of sanctions, but it's fair to say by the look of the cockpit, they maintain the SP very well. They have autopilots, they have digitized a little bit and um, everything works and they prolonged the lifespan of the engine so the SP could fly until 2016, which is quite an achievement under all the restrictions, right? The captain was really kind. He spent a long time explaining the routing and the weather and the toposphere 
So here's what he said about the flight. Uh, today we are flying from Tehran to uh, Bombay and uh, the troposphere today over Iran is about 40,000 feet and uh, the troposphere uh, in the Asia, Indian Ocean is 55,000 feet. So mostly the troposphere uh, goes higher as we fly towards the equator. But if you fly towards the northern part of the uh, northern hemisphere, the troposphere comes down. So this aircraft usually then can uh, climb up uh, above the troposphere into the stratosphere very easily. This aircraft uh, flies over uh, the weather when we are flying uh, towards the uh, northern hemisphere, towards the northwest of Iran. Mostly we can fly over the weather because of the troposphere is very low, but uh, when we are flying southeast towards Southeast Asia, because of the troposphere is very high, so we cannot uh, climb up uh, above the weather. So if the weather is uh, uh, not good and the thunderstorm is on the way, we have to fly circumnavigate the thunderstorm area. So another beautiful thing is I had breakfast in the cockpit while we were cruising and watching the captain, watching the flight engineer performing, and it was a great atmosphere. They really treat you like their own son, and it was just wonderful aviation of yesteryear. So after my breakfast, I went downstairs to explore uh, it was beautiful. We we're cruising at Karachi, just coming over to uh, the sea and over to towards the states of Gujarat in India. And um, looking at those engines spinning, turning, it was beautiful sights. And they have a long galley in the 747SP. So one side is the long galley, the other side is the uh, economy class cabin. And then they have business class, which they call Homer class in the front with 22 seats. Um, so the crew were so kind, they offered me the second breakfast. They said, do you like to try out business class breakfast? I said, yeah, why not? I'll eat a second time. I went to home class, sit down, there was no passenger. I sat there, it was a private jet or a private home cinema. I want to talk about the food on the Iran Air. I always call this is a Iranian restaurant, a flying restaurant in the sky. Um, they've been serving pretty much same food all over the years, but they taste very good. They taste very authentic. They came with a buffet, like a cart with rice, with potato, with kebabs. That's the most famous thing of Iran, with chicken kebab, with um, kubi day, with jeju kebabs, and or with shnisos. Um, you know, it's predictable, but it's just so great. They serve in front of you. They prepare everything in front of you, right? So the good time flies while you're having great chats and great cultural exchange with so many great Iran Air crew. Um, we started our descent into Mumbai. We're coming in on runway 27 and uh, I knew there were some flash photography from other enthusiasts, which looks a little bit distracting. Uh, but the last flight is the last flight. It was kind of like, we need to document this. I think even the captain, he was so excited and he forgot to lower the flaps. Three, two low flaps. Mm -hmm. Luckily, there was an auto warning and it picked it up and we landed very safely. And I'm really glad to document this experience. And now, looking back eight years now, it's all golden memories. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10.
And to end my video, I would just love to share my greatest gratitude towards the crew of Iran Air. I've been flying Iran Air the first time in 2004 on the SP when I went to Iran on a quest to fly Boeing 707. And until 2016 was my last, I probably flew about 12, 15 times on the Iran Air 747 SP. And every single time, the crew were really kind. When you open up, you tell the crew, you introduce yourself to the crew, the crew receive you in the greatest hospitality. They treat you like royalty because they want you to have a great flight with the 747 SP. Thank you so much. Here we go. Best VIP airplanes that I've seen in my career. This airplane was built in 1979. I guess that's the king's bathroom. Here there's another small private office here. There's a shower room, a big conference room here. Modigas probably like sitting here. The king's bedroom basically. Oh. Main equipment center. Now the airplane will go in the hangar to do a sea check. Traffic, traffic. I've never thought in 2019 I could fly again on the 747SP.